go I'll go ahead and start for um the one thing that I, I was proud of last month was a vendor event that I did. I absolutely love doing vendor events. Um and of course when COVID had happened, a lot of that stuff was shut down. And this was the first vendor event that I booked for myself since COVID. And I was just really proud of myself getting back out there again. Um I made sample coffee cups with um, packets, our sample packets of different products that we had. And I was excited that I was able to sell that and sell some samples and just actually getting in front of people and talking to people. Um, and then also having some results to share. That's another accomplishment um, with like our hair care line and just like other results and everything. Just sharing my own personal results. That is something that I was very excited about and I felt accomplished like okay Erica let's get back into talking to people you know going to vendor events stuff like that um and then something that I could do better of more of it's just closing I am a closer so I have lots of conversations and I start the conversations and everything goes well and then it's just a matter of them you know going ghost and I'm like okay Another one went ghost, but now my language is I am a closer. So I will get better at closing, not just having the conversations because that's, you know, that's easy. Like, you know, we have the conversations, we talk to people, but actually closing and finishing. Um, that is my biggest area of opportunity. So my affirmations for this month and every day is I am a closer. I am a closer, so I can go ahead and move and progress to the next level that I want to go to. Before you get, get out of here, I want to know how I was being a product tester. <laughs> that experience. Um. Yes. Yeah, so it first off, I felt very, very um thankful. I felt very thankful being a product tester and, and this is just being full, complete transparency and honesty. It doesn't matter what eSuite says, like you are seen. And it's kind of one of those things where I was like, oh, wow, like y'all picked me, <laughs> like y'all picked me. But it was good. I'm not going to lie. Signing that disclosure and like saying you can't tell nobody type stuff. I was like, all right, I'm not telling nobody because <laughs> they ain't going to come after me type stuff but it was it was fun and I guess the thing was for me it was like God's tap and like a reminder that's like you matter and like you're worthy and what you have to offer is here and it's just like I'm not gonna let you bow out like I'm not about to let you duck out quietly if <laughs> that should be the word no I'm gonna tap you so that corporate is like okay we're gonna use you and granted, I get it. They want all different types of hair types and textures and everything. And I have lots. And it was like, listen, the product is legit. The product is legit. If you have not gotten it, get it. Um, and it was just exciting to really, truly track your progress and send in the pictures and send in your testimony and things of that nature. It just made me excited excited about the products all over again and then also everybody who was in the group seeing their results and like their testimonies and it's just like wow just make me excited again about the product so I felt like that was truly a a God divine thing um because he knew I needed a love tap he knew I needed a love tap and so he was like I'm just gonna you know you're here and you're meant to be here like don't let what E-Suite is telling you discourage you from moving forward type thing. So that's what it was for me. Um, you know, just being, you know, honest. That's good. That's exciting. Um, go ahead, Robin. And I was going to say good morning. I'm going to hop in. Um, so one, um, I'll say one accomplishment for me was getting to green carpet. Okay. Um, getting there. Okay. It's half the battle. So getting to green carpet and getting poured into, I definitely needed that. I definitely needed to be around the squad and get poured into and just feel the like-mindedness 
um that ain't a word probably but i whatever um to to just <laughs> be around the spot because the energy is like next level y'all like you you know you can be on zoom and you know feel the feel the you know excitement from everybody just but to be in a room with everybody going towards the same goal getting the same inspiration just motivated it's just next level it's just what you needed so definitely get to events um an opportunity for me, I would definitely say it's recruitment, and that's something that um, I'm definitely going to master this month and going forward because I recruit diamonds, okay? I recruit diamonds and people that want to go diamond and willing to work for it. Um, really quick, though, I just want to um, shout out to everybody that has their camera on. If you don't have your camera on, just drop in the chat why you do not. Like, if you're at work, um that's the only reason you should not have your camera on unless you're like feeding your kid or something like that but this is a high level space this is a business meeting so everybody's camera should be on um and you should we should be able to see your face okay so come on in the room um that's just something that our leader our ambassador diamond and our um rep told us to um lanisa so let's just make sure we're we're you know prioritizing our business and being in a room thank you that's real um again like if we were in person would you have like a bag over your head <laughs> that's kind of like what the camera off is is like we're sitting in person sitting in a group and you got the bag over your head now I understand that you know there's um certain things you may be in the bathroom whatever um not at of course you want your camera off but if it's no reason like that, just come into the room. We want a fellowship with one another. If we see you out and about, we want to know who you are. <laughs> this one lady, she came up to me at church and was trying to hug me. And I'm like, who are you? Ooh, your camera ain't ever on. I don't, I don't know you. <laughs> like, and it was legit. Like, And it, I wasn't being funny. I literally didn't know her face. She, she, This was yesterday. She said, oh, you just going to walk out the door? I'm like, I don't know who you are. <laughs> So have your camera on so we can know who you are um, when we see you. But yeah, green carpet. I'm sorry, Griffin. As soon as I come out the bathroom, I will definitely turn my camera on. I'm sorry. Girl, you put it in the comments. I got you done. <laughs> okay. Okay. You just say it. Make sure you know. Yeah, we saying in general, girl. Okay. <laughs> but um, yes, green carpet was amazing. Um, Man, events are just crucial being in the room no matter if it's in person um on zoom it's going to be very important so with that being said there are a lot of um events on the calendar because we are putting everyone in a position to get everything that's on the table there's a lot of opportunity a lot of bonuses that you coming in the door as a brand new distributor can absolutely earn that 500 dollars ruby bonus i need everybody on here that has never went ruby to claim that if you're brand new and you started today you can claim that ruby bonus ruby is a cakewalk and you have to put that in your mind you have to have your mind set on that um and your perspective about going Ruby, it has to be like, it's easy. This is for me. This is, this is set up. Like this is God ordained. God brought me here. And now he's put me in a, in a place to not only get started, but get started fast. And so those of you who are just now coming through the door, like you're coming through the door where momentum is here. Um, it's just really just trusting the process, trusting the person that you um, signed up with and leaning into the coaching and the mentorship that's here because everything that is in place is set up for you to win. And so literally, if you do not win, if you do not grab a bonus, it is literally because you don't want it. I tell people all the time, the system that we have set up here is foolproof. And so if you do not earn money here, it's because you don't want to. It's literally because you don't want to, not because it's not possible. And so, man, check that calendar, get in these spaces it, because it's going to be crucial. It's going to be crucial to your growth. Um, what we do here is 90% mental, 10% skill. And so that's why personal and spiritual development is super, super important. And just being in these spaces um, so that you can get the empowerment, encouragement, feed off of other people's energy, excitement, belief. It's going to be very, very crucial in this season. So um, who else want to share something?
Hi, y'all. I do. Hi. So, uh, <laughs> I see you smiling, Brittany. You know my pain. <laughs> um, but hey, Erica, my um accomplishment uh for this month, I think that's what we're doing, right? We're we're going for accomplishment for last month. All right. So my accomplishment for last month was getting so close to diamond and learning a big lesson on um, the importance of investing in my business, um, because that literally was what it was. But it really um, opened my eyes to um, how uh, hard work my father, um, if he was on the call, he would say, you know, um, the when when we were having the meeting with um in the beginning of the month and um and Brian was saying that you know you got to use your quarters wisely your first quarter you got to go hard second quarter um if you ever going to cruise it might be there but even still go hard that way in the last moment if i my dad said it so well he's like if we had um pushed the the way that we pushed that last day if we had pushed that way all the way through from the beginning of the month I would have been double diamond. Um, so it's such a big lesson, right? Because we know we have it in us. And um, sometimes um, <laughs> the pressure is what builds the diamond. You know, like in order for you to become a, a diamond in reality, like you, when you think about the process of diamonds, how diamonds are formed, it has to go through some type of pressure. Um, and you need to put that pressure on yourself every single day of the month. If that's your goal, my goal is double diamond. That means I need double the pressure. Um, so I'm I'm really um, pushing, um, pushing on you guys, loving on you guys for us to put the pressure on the same momentum we had on the last day. Let's have that from the beginning. Um, I did take my rest. Thank you, Brittany. I took my rest. Man, that was so mentally draining. I was wrestling with myself, um, wrestling. When I tell you, I wrestled with myself because I I had to get off that 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 guilt because my my um, promotion is not is not just mine. It's not just mine. I got a team behind me that looks at me and says, "If she could do it, I can do it too." So. Um, the fact that I got so close just gave me so much more. Um, it just made my why bigger, right? Because I realized that that um, that area of opportunity, because it wasn't a failure, that area of opportunity, um, I had three people's promotions that was connected to it. Three people's con promotion that was connected to it, and um, and 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 a whole team of people that was that that was looking at that to um encourage them to go further. So um, um, so yeah, this month is my month, is our month, is our month. Um, but I will say when it comes to green carpet, um, I was so excited to be there. Um, but I'm going to be real. I'm going to be real. I was extremely um, disappointed. I was disappointed because when I started the business, um, when I started the business, I remember seeing somewhere where even when we do our, our training, it says that um, Rachel has 1,500 active distributors so and I'm sorry I'm trying not to get emotional but I was disappointed not in our in I, I was so proud of what we what we've built what we what we what we came right but I was disappointed because 1500 distributors we should have had at least 500 of us on there representing her pushing her this woman works so hard for us she works so hard for us. And um, and I'm saying this while she's gone because she needed this rest, right? Um, because she's done so much. She's done so much to encourage us, to lift us up. Um, and it is our job to um, do that, that, that same, to lift and encourage our team, but have them with us um, when we're, 
because I I was there to get the encouragement from just seeing everything, but I was really there because I wanted to show the power of all the work that she's done, the pride of that. Um, so when I talk to my team now, I tell them like, there's absolutely no way you're missing April. Like you better put it in your calendar right now. You better get your tickets right now. You better figure out a way right now because come April, I don't want to hear I couldn't take off work. Come April, you shouldn't even be at work. <laughs> I'm a, uh, my goal is to not even be there. My goal is to reach diamond where I can triple or double diamond where I can triple my income so I don't have to be there so I can keep pushing. Um, so um, I was very proud to be there. Um, but I was disappointed because I think 500 of us should have been there marching. When, they, when they're when they calling her on stage in April, I want us to be there rowing, like rowing each other because we're going diamond. We're going double diamond. We're ranking, re-ranking diamond, re-ranking double, and we're going to ambassador. So, um, yeah, I think I think we we have a lot of work to do. And I'm excited. I'm so excited. We have a lot of work to do. The fact that I came so, when I tell y'all, I was like 400 BVs. Like, I, Brittany had to have a conversation with me, say, you got to be okay with it. And no, Brittany, I'm sorry. I was not okay with it. I was not okay with it. <laughs> I, wasn't, I wasn't okay with it. I literally went for a walk for an hour and a half last night. I put my babies to bed and I'm like, okay, one day is off. I went out for a walk last night for an hour and a half, just wrestling with myself, wrestling with God, um, just forgiving myself because I felt like I didn't go hard enough to get that, to get to the, to the, to die, to the, to diamond. And, and yes, there is always this month. I'm not, I, I'm grateful. I'm grateful that I've had the, the opportunity. I'm grateful that I've had the, um, the ability to, um, to work hard, to push. Um, but y'all, we got to get moving. We got to get moving because there's no way I'm not going to see y'all by the end of November. I'm not going to see like at least a hundred of us getting to these bonuses. Like there's no way. And I'm saying hundred, I'm being graceful by saying hundred because if she has 1500 active distributors, that means we have a bunch of distributors behind us. Just us on this call. I think it's what uh, 20 of us on this call. We got a lot of people that we need to put push for diamond push for rubies we gotta just like start popping them because they were last night on the call they were talking about um the top the top uh enrollers or the top uh ruby makers the movers and the shakers yeah we're movers and shakers so we need to like really start moving and shaking my dad called me last night he was like rose did you know that they put eight thousand people eight thousand new distributors eight thousand new distributors in the month of September, 8,000. Can you imagine just getting a fraction, as a diamond, getting a fraction of that? $80 per distributor that comes into your organization. Oh yeah, we're movers and we're shakers and I want us to start acting like it and start moving and shaking. That's it. <laughs> Girl, you said a whole, whole bunch. Um... And yes, like Shadi said, like, I love your heart. Um, that is what, that is the culture of our team. So everything that you said is how we function. And it's so great to be getting back to that space. Um, but we are better together. And so when you said that you had to wrestle with the fact that, yeah, I didn't make it, but that means other people didn't make their goals. That is the heart. That is how we function. That is how you should look at your promotion. Like, yeah, it's a raise for me, my household, my income. It's going to change my life. But when I push for my goals and I push for my rank ups, when I push up, push for my bonuses, not only does it help my household, but it helps everybody that's on my team. And then it also helps the person who was graceful enough to give me this opportunity. And so, Rose, you wrestled. Baby, I wrestled too. <laughs> I wrestled too because not only am I fighting for me, but I'm fighting for everybody that's connected to me. And so if I'm not winning, that means that we're not winning. And that's not okay with me. But 
like you said, let it fuel your fire to go harder. Let it fuel your fire to self-reflect and see where you dropped the ball, see where you could have did more. And like you said, if we come out the gates with the fire that we have um, on the end of the, of the last day of the month, and there's no way we won't be where we want to be by the end of the month. And so my mantra was always every day is the last day. And if you wake up with that men mentality that every day is the last day, not the 31st, not the 30th or whatever month it is, but today is the last day, you will work like it. You will work, have a work ethic and a sense of urgency like none other. And you'll absolutely hit the goals that you want at the end of the month. And so that was so good, man. That was so good. We got it. We movers and shakers. And so we got to start acting like it. Like we are black excellence. We're the epitome of black excellence. This team has a leadership that walks in excellence. And so it's time for us to, like she said, fall in line and get, get everything that we, that God has set forth for us. And so I'm excited. It's about to go down. I'm sorry. I got one more when you were saying that I thought about it and it's like, um, for me, I had mentally, I had to think about obstacles, right? I'm like, what obstacles did I have in front of me? Any obstacles that you, and you got to go and, and search yourself. You got to go and search inside yourself and find those obstacles that are stopping you from getting to greatness. Because we may use those obstacles and um, as excuses, we may, like, it's it, my obstacle is a lot, it's le legitimate one, right? My obstacle is a legitimate one. Like, oh yeah, this is my obstacle. But if I can find a way to remove it, and I'm not saying that removing is a bad thing, just removing it because I want to elevate, just find what that obstacle is, find the ways to be able to remove it so that you can move forward. If your obstacle is wasting time watching TV, like I got this one show, my husband knows because he wants to spend time with me, right? He turns the show on. I'm like, I can't, I can't, I can't right now. I can't, I got I got that. So I got to find better ways to spend the time with him um, without without feeling like I'm wasting. So those this is the reason why my rest days are, are important. And I learned that at, at Green Carpet. Well, not at Green Carpet. Everybody keeps preaching that to me. So my rest days are important. Because, so that was an obstacle for me. I was working, 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 not taking my rest days. And then now I have pressure on not spending time with my husband and not watching the show that I love because I'm working but um so I just we have to find a way to remove the obstacles that are stopping us from elevating even if that means we got to take a few steps backwards um to allow ourselves to rest so for those of you who just um jumped on we are sharing um, one thing we're um, proud of, excited, an accomplishment from last month, and then one area opportunity that you know and you're committed to um, focusing on and being better for this month. Hey, y'all. Hey, guys. I want, to, oh. <laughs> I want to jump in really quick because I actually have an appointment at 11 o'clock, so I, um, I'm going to switch to my phone while I'm on my way there so I can still stay tuned to the meeting and everything. Uh, green carpet was everything. Rose said something that I felt so bad because, like, the way I ran the last week of September, I probably could have been Ruby if I ran like that the entire month. Like, I felt the energy and the shifts and, like, the awakening and yes it was being around the team but i also feel like it was a god thing of just like reminding me that my dreams is worth are worth it because i can say like i don't want to use the word complacent but i just wasn't giving it my all and i felt the difference in me giving my all in that last week as opposed to oh yes i just posted and be cute on facebook whatever but like actually making the calls actually signing up the customers like i doubled my work from last month in a week in September. And so I definitely feel that, um, that I like that, that you said that Brittany, every day is the last day. Um, and so like, even on the second, like I've been trying to develop that mentality, don't wait. And I am one of those kind of people, I'm a blue green, I am one of those kind of, and a Virgo. So I am one of those kind of people that's just like, once the pressure comes, like, oh yeah, I can do it. Like if I got a big test, I, like I'm gonna kill it like the two nights before and get all the information in. But that doesn't work in business. And that doesn't work in business because I'm leaving too much on the table trying to get that pressure. The pressure is on today. 
Like the pressure is already on today. I don't have to wait for that pressure. Like when I saw my BB looking low and I was still messaging people at like 11 o'clock on Saturday and I'm just like seeing it move. Like I, I want that same um, inspiration, motivation, do it right, creating that urgency. Yes, I really need that for myself. And so I remember Rachel said something sometimes like you have to, like you, you have to parent yourself. Like I am a big kid. I have to parent myself. And the business part of me is saying, girl, you need to work like it's the last day of the month. The other part of me is like, oh, well, it's only the second, blah, 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 blah. Um, so I definitely, I love Monday meetups. Like when we don't have them, I be feeling like something's missing. <laughs> I love them because like, it just helped me set the week up and, 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 and hearing you all say, yeah, get in here and do the work like that pushes me too. So I'm excited um about how October is going to go. I'm excited for all our promotions. I can't wait to see our 500 600 people in April. Like that that was something too that made me feel bad because I felt like I'm not doing my part. Like I don't have anybody here with me. I'm not doing my part. Like I can't look at nobody else and say what they doing is all on me and my business. And um so I'm excited for 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 all of that and the growth and everything. So thank you. Hey guys, happy October. So I will say for me, um, even with green carpet and everything, it's exciting, especially being, I think this is for anyone who's seasoned, it's being able to see the freshness and the newness of your business. I think it's so important, right? Um, but then also, especially when you've experienced many seasons in your business, as I have and as I am, um, it's really easy to keep in your mind what you haven't done instead of putting in the front of your mind what you have done and going from that, right? And so things like green carpet are just being in the midst. And that's not to live in your accomplishment, but to be reminded um, that the only place that you can go really is up if you decide to do that. And so I was thinking like, oh man, I went triple diamond on the old triple diamond chart, right? And so in the face of all of the things, reminding myself what has been done to be able to work from that space um, but also, um, also learning, I was saying this to Brittany and Robin, learning to scale my business based on my life today, but scale my business based on where I'm going. And so sometimes it's really easy because you're not at the place that you want to. So you're scaling yourself for where you are now instead of scaling yourself for where you want your business to be. Right. And so what that did, what that does is it puts my mind in the expectation of where I want to go versus the expectation of where I am, if that makes sense. Right. It's almost like if you are building a house, but you're buying furniture for your apartment, but your house is like a five bedroom house, right? I'm scaling for where I want to go. And so I would say for me, it was being able to approach my business with fresh eyes was huge for me. Um, and my area of opportunity is host of house, okay? The Lord, he tells me, yes. Drop one in the comment if your area of opportunity is host to post. Y'all not going to have me out here in the host to post of my area's opportunity land by myself. Host to post is my area of opportunity. Monday meetup task was for me. The upcoming push is for me. Um, because I know I've signed 30 loyal customers doing host to post before. And again, that's that's me approaching my eyes, my business with fresh eyes and going from the place of the best. Right. So sometimes we look at the worst case scenario instead of remembering the best case scenario. And so if I remember the best case scenario, then I work from that place of the best case scenario. And I'm going to share this with you, Rose. Oh, I don't know if she's still on here. July of 2015, I thought I was going to go diamond. I, I remember. Remember, Annie? I thought I was going to diamond. It was like right here on top of my mind. Right. That was the last month for the bonus. Right. I did not go. Right. I did not go. Okay. I did not. And it was something like that, like 400. Like my feelings was so hurt. And this is, this is before the days of no rest. We was team, no sleep and praise the Lord. We've been delivered. We believe in boundaries. We believe in having a life. The reason why we're here is still freedom. And so we have to continue to build the things that are constant, like our relationships and our family. Like it's important, right? The money will not mean anything. If we have a bunch of money, then I got to go back over here and fix this. So it's so important. Um, but I remember that. So it's just like, I know that feeling. Okay. Right. But then when I went the next month, I became the type of diamond that made it easier for me to reload. Okay. So although I did not get the bonus, right. When I went diamond, I wasn't a 10 K diamond. 
I was more towards a 20K diamond, right? And so it was hard for me to see it in that moment. But when I went forward, and I'm going to tell you guys for, I did not lose my diamond. Annie could probably help me with this probably until like the year 2021. Probably two, two, was 23, no, maybe 22, 2022, right? And so I was able to literally progress on the residual of that by, by understanding that although I kind of was stretched out for that, that month, I did not make it. It made me the type of diamond where I really understood and I really was able to live in what it meant to be a residual diamond, like legit. And so I don't know if she's still on here, but just to encourage you in that, like, because I was in my feelings. I'm like, here. I'm here. Thank you. Well, it was like, it was something like that. Like 320. I was like, couldn't nobody buy it. I didn't spend all my money. I ain't got nothing else to buy. Like all these different things. We didn't go all of these things. And so I just had to hop back in it. But then when I hopped back in it, I was able to stand from that place. But then when I went down and I was like, oh, look at this group volume. This group volume now is probably going to give me a bigger check than that than the, the bonus did, and so understand the feeling, but I also understand going when your squad is one hundred percent ready. It turns it into a residual. It turns it into an easy to sustain, and it turns it into okay. Now I'm walking into to double diamond or whatever it may be, and so post to post for me. But I'm going into my month remembering all the amazing things. So whoever you are out there, remember all the amazing things that you've done in this business and go from there. That's the starting point for you. Your starting point for you is not your worst day. Your starting point for you is your best day. So my starting point for me is a whole bunch of people on my team and, you know, GV looking like, you know, really, really amazing, right? You know what I mean? And so that's my starting point. Even if I don't see that, I see that it's there. If it was once there, it's always there. I just have to, you know, see it. So, yes, Keisha, that's definitely true. Hey, y'all. Um, let's see. We are doing this for the residual, right? So, residual income is everything. And so, a lot of times we do it, we, we think about the quick wins, but you want the longevity in your business. Being in this business, um, like Keisha said, her diamond was solid. Her diamond was solid to my double diamond, to my triple diamond, being solid and being able to be paid as a residual double and triple and diamond for that long is what you really, really want. And so, um, yes, we did learn the hard way, <laughs> team no sleep, but we but we we figured it out. And so as long as you guys have those boundaries set and your calendar is your boss, um, that is going to be the biggest thing. And so be okay with stretching a little bit, but still have your boundaries strong, right? You might have to be stretched a little bit um, because these bonuses, you know, are on the table for a number amount of time. They're just here for a little bit of time, right? But if you're doing everything that you can do in your capacity to grow your business, so that way your residual is going to grow, i.e. host a post that was for me too. I hate it, but it, I know it works. Okay. Just going to tell you. <laughs> and we know it works as well as reels. That's not one of my things, but I'm willing to be stretched and be uncomfortable. And you have to ask yourself, are you willing to be uncomfortable? What are you willing to be uncomfortable doing that is going to grow your business? Because probably that one thing that you're not doing and you're so uncomfortable with is probably going to take you to where you want to go. And I hate to say it, but I'm just going to say it. It's, it's whatever that one thing is. If you're comfortable with the reels and you hate doing host to post, it's probably that host to post that you need to tap into. You know, if you're not, if you're doing host to post, but you're not doing any reels, maybe that's what you need to tap into. Maybe it's the lives that you hate doing. Maybe you need to tap into that too. Maybe it's about tapping into those untapped areas that you just did not stretch yourself to. So that way you could be like, okay, God, I did every single thing. I, did, I laid it out. I got it. I can get, you know, fruit from everywhere. You see what I'm saying? So this month, um, I'm excited about tapping into some of everything. Okay. Some of everything um, and being more present so you guys can see me. I'm still working, but I'm quiet, but I'm here. Okay. I still got a lot to say, even though I am quiet and reserved. Um, but it, we can work this business together and I'm excited for the newness and for everyone to be here. Um in April, okay, and really just charging our teams to get more people there. How many people are you gonna see with you in April, right? Like I have FOMO not being at Green Carpet, okay? I have FOMO, but I'm still, I'm catching the, the wind, okay, of what everybody that's got there, everybody that went there, I'm like, oh, okay, we catching the wind. I'm not getting left behind. I'm still gonna be there, right? Uh, so how many people you want with you in April, right? You want people to come to these things. So making sure that 
you're bringing your team with you. Um, you're just leading and catching the vision that Rachel has set for us um, and just leading every single day with enthusiasm and just leaving it all on the floor, y'all. So excited for Amy, you said something, you know, um, about comfort. And so a lot of times <laughs> we don't want to get out of our comfort zone, but we are already uncomfortable. Like when you look at your situation, you're not comfortable. Like if you really look at where you are, you are already uncomfortable. So it, it like it, it's nothing <laughs> to go ahead and do something that is a little bit outside of the box so that you can get to a place of better. And so, yes, Shanice, choose your heart. You are already uncomfortable. <laughs> like you're not where you want to be. And so if you're not where you want to be, then you need to look at yourself and ask yourself, are you okay with being where you are? Yeah. Um, And like, are you okay with staying where you are to feel and have the perceived comfort that you think that you have? Because when you be real with yourself, you're, you're already uncomfortable. And so, yes, everything that you need is going to be lying right outside of that comfort zone. Your dreams lie right outside of that perceived comfort zone that you think that you're in um but if you really look at your situation you are already uncomfortable i just wanted to hop in and comment on something that robin had said in the chat um talking about like the prayer and journaling i just started getting on the prayer and journaling last week um on my off day so you know i work overnight so i use that rose we were talking about reasons I use that as a reason why I couldn't get on prayer and journaling. But in reality, it's just like, that's an excuse so you could get on it on your off days. Like, stop using it. Oh, because I can't show up 100% of the time due to reasons. You know, I'm legitimate at work. Still show up when you're not at work, Erica. And that was something where we talked about reflection and we talked about looking at, at ourselves. And it's just like, stop giving yourself a way out. Stop trying to say, oh, if it's all or nothing, no, give something. Um, and so when Robin was talking about um, our affirmations and like who we want to be and like all this other things that really tied in to what Keisha was talking about as far as like our business, like working our business for like where we see it at right now, instead of furnishing that five bedroom house type thing. So like, I, for somebody who had not been on prayer and journaling because I was using my reasons <laughs> not to get on, I highly, highly, highly encourage you guys to get up, set your alarm, and get on the prayer and journaling. Um, it's so bad now. My dogs know that I'm supposed to be getting up. So this morning, before my alarm even went off, Lucky is messing with me. And I'm like, boys, don't leave me alone. I'm like, oh, I do got to get up, <laughs> don't I? And he just would not let me get up. And I'm like, Lord, thank you for using my dogs because, listen, I was going to try to sleep some. Um, but yeah, get on prayer and journaling because not only is it helping us grow as like our spiritual and then like our um, personal development and everything like that, we're tying in our business goals. We're tying in our life goals and our business goals and all the different things. And I am, um, I am forgiving myself for not allowing myself to be in this space because that's also another thing that the enemy will try to come back at you and be like, oh, well, you haven't been here and that's why you're not reading. No. <clears throat> Every day could be day one. That's what Rachel tells us. Every day could be day one. And so it's one of those things like, okay, that's what happened, but I'm pressing towards the mark. Yes, Robin. Who said that? Did Robin say that? Yeah, pressing towards the pressing towards the mark and like moving forward. Um, and for somebody who has been here and seen different seasons of the business, it's just like keep going like keep going because eventually you're gonna find your groove you're gonna find your niche and then one day like with the um the discipline and the muscle that you are striving to get you're gonna get it <laughs> you are going to get it so I just want to encourage everybody on here who has been in the business for years like me or even months and you just have not seen or reached the goals that you wanted to reach just keep going Stay encouraged, 
Um, and just know that you could do it. We could do it. It's all, like Rose said, pressure makes diamonds. So it's going to be some type of pressure. And it really comes down to how bad do we want it? Are we just going to let reasons and life just kind of kick us out? And it's just like, just keep going. Okay, I messed up and I failed 99 times. Okay, I'm about to get up 100 times. And it doesn't matter how many times you fall down or how many times that you knock your head up against the wall, what matters is that you get back up and it's like, okay, I'm gonna try it again. Like, I'm, I'm gonna do it again, I'm gonna do it again. So I'm just gonna keep hitting my head up against the wall until, <laughs> until I reach what I wanna do or reach the goal that I wanna reach, but it's just a matter of being connected with this state, 100%. Being connected with this space and any other spaces that we have with the squad, because you guys um, are part of the reason why I keep going. Because you guys are so, um, what's the word? You guys are so iron sharpens iron, if that makes sense. So it's just like shooting it straight, saying what it is, and it's just like as you guys are talking, it's like, nope, you didn't do that, Erica. So there's no reason to get you know be upset type stuff. Um, but it's all with love. It is absolutely all with love so i love y'all hello everybody um so just to answer the question so last month i would say what one thing that i accomplished was um just getting back up like just get back into the fight my ear opportunity is like you know like if i fall down like not stand down too long and that's just period going forward because i know like the opportunities that I have in this business and like even like to help me like handle life stuff and not really just like putting one thing to the side but like really having that freedom to deal with everything and, and reach my goals at the same time um and I'm excited about the bonuses and the reloads and everything like that I believe truly in my heart I'm gonna get about two three of them things um but honestly like I'm not using it as my fuel to go because it's like you know, I shouldn't only be running when there's a bonus, like that's an incentive and they are paying us to do what we supposed to do. Basically they're giving us a bonus to do what we're supposed to do. Um, but it's like, you know, make it deeper than a bonus because if you attach it to the bonus, then what are you going to do if you, in the case you don't get the bonus, are you going to just give up because you didn't like reach that one little goal? So anyway, I'm challenging myself and, and other people on here to attach your goal, like your reload, your promotion or something to your actual why and not only the bonus because I don't want that to be something to like take you out. And I can relate. I rem what Rose said about uh being close, I remember I almost went double. I almost went double and it, I was so hurt. I was going to buy that thing out though. I ain't <laughs> he was like, that's not smart, but baby, I was so hurt. So I get it, but just don't, you know, let it, Um, and I, I don't believe that you will, Rose, but let it take you out and just keep going. I don't, I don't know. Like whatever happened last month, literally let it go. It's the beginning of the month and it's time to just like focus forward and find a way to get your conference ticket um, so that you can get it like everybody else saying it was something about green carpet and conference is going to be even more fire um, so I can't wait to see all of y'all there um, but yeah so that's all I wanted to say one thing that Andrea made me think of that I heard on the podcast the other day um, and it's one degrees okay so water boils at 211 degrees but at 212 degrees it turns into steam and that steam can, you know, power a locomotive, a power plant, everything. And it's literally that just one degree. So she was talking about host supposed. I'm kind of the same way. Uh, I can make reels all day, but host supposed, I need to get in my grind in. And it's like this month, I've been trying to do even this one degree more than I did last month. One degree more than I did yesterday. Even with my working out, even with my and with my own habits and stuff, that one degree more takes takes something the the plain water to something that can power a power plant. And so that stuck with me and I want to share it with y'all because I feel like sometimes we just need to pivot one degree and I feel like everything could change. Even with my weight loss, I pivot that one degree and I hit my goal weight in the past three months. Like it's crazy. That one simple change that just changed everything. And so that's all. I had that on my heart and I didn't want to end without, without leaving and saying. Okay, I'll hop in. Um, my accomplishment for last month was basically um, hitting my, what, my second milestone for my 400 friends. 
So I was excited about it. I was super excited about it because like toward the end, I'd be losing hope. But then like I pushed myself and I hit it and I was happy. I was so, so happy. So now I got one more. Good morning. So my area of opportunity, I've been listening to everybody, but my area of opportunity is also host folks. I can reel, I can reel, I can do the reels, I can do the TikToks, but my area of opportunity is host post and getting out uh, in them streets. Because uh, I find that um, if I show up in the street, people will show up to me. And so just getting out and opening my mouth and getting out in the streets. So uh, doing the pop-up shops and going out and just... Making myself go out the house because you know sometimes we don't got used to being in this house and we don't want to leave and um <laughs> so just pushing myself to do that and um uh, getting back into my exercise because I need to do that as well so getting back out so that's my op my areas opportunity that I'm pushing myself for uh this month and just you know I was listening to a sermon yesterday and. Uh, uh, Pastor Hannah was talking about the Israelites, talking about, you know, it, they only supposed to have been in the wilderness for 11 days, but because of the words that they were speaking, then the things that, the, you know, the doubt that they was having, they stayed there 40 years. And so I was going like, okay. And so uh, I'm going like, well, Lord, I ain't trying to stay nowhere, no 40 years. So I'm going to speak so he had at the end of his sermon, he had everybody do an affirmation. So just be speaking to speaking into you each and every day and making sure that we do that. You know, we said, but making sure that we actually do it and uh, speak to ourselves every day, because in a, the devil will come in a split second. He'll come and he'll tell you, you can't do something. But we got to be able to come back and come back and tell him, yes, I can. You the liar. And so just being mindful of what we're telling ourselves and, and thinking about it and then coming back and, and canceling anything that the enemy already told you in your mind, then you got to come back and cancel that. And so, and just continue to move because uh, we are that black diamond team. And, um, and I know we are, and I know I'm not here by mistake. I'm here by divine intervention because I wasn't even looking for nothing when this opportunity dropped in my lap. And uh, so I know that I'm here. And I tell everybody that's attached to me, you're not here by mistake. You're here because God wanted you to be here. And so when God puts you somewhere, he ain't going to let you fail. But it's up to us to do the work. We got, got to move and just trust in God and just knowing that he going to lead us to where we need to go. But we got to move. And we can't be like those Israelites continuing to complain about, oh, I don't have enough customers. Oh, they ain't answering my text back. Oh, they ain't doing this. Uh, and the minute we start doing that, then we complaining and we putting all that negative energy into it. Then no, you ain't going to get nobody. You ain't going to get nothing. And so just pushing it. So I noticed that at the at near the end of the month, I was pushing hard and I was just going like, Okay, Lord, and I was just saying the things. I'm gonna get my DT today. I'm gonna get, and I signed two DTs, and I just kept telling myself that every day, and then I signed them, and then I would continue saying, "We gonna load this, and I'm gonna load my Ruby, and we gonna help Tamara load her executive." And I said, "We gonna do this," and I just kept speaking it, and I just kept telling myself, and lo and behold, oh, there it was, and I was going like, "Okay, okay, girl." Continue to speak to yourself, speak into yourself, <laughs> and keep swimming. Hey guys, what's up? What's up? Um, really quickly. Um, so a couple opportunities. I'll say a couple of my wins. I'm starting with wins, right? Because that's what y'all say it. Um, I say getting some green carpet for me um, was a big deal. I'm getting there. And then actually, um, I think this time for green carpet, I just try to be more receptive. Um, every time we go, I go to an event, I was like, I need to learn something. And, and really just like my heart is open. Something similar for me personally. I was just like, you know how you go to church, you know, they like, you know, open your, your mind and your heart. And I was just making sure that my heart and my mind was open to everything that God had for me in that space and just 
just excited for all that he has. And if he brought me to it, you know, he's going to see me through it. And it's not how I think it's going to look, but how he already planned. And so I'm um, super excited about that. And I'm excited about all like that I received at Green Card because it was good. It was good um, hugging on y'all. It was good seeing y'all face to face. Because, um, yeah, Zoom is cool. Like, I really do enjoy Zoom, but it's nothing like, you know, being being sitting next to someone working with and we both working towards our goals is something about that for me. Um, stay, I would say a win for me also was staying in gratitude in uh, September. September ain't go how I want it, but I I made it a point to make sure through every, um, you know, punch and everything that I dealt with, I um, just try to stay in gratitude through it all. Um, and I am so grateful. It's so grateful, y'all. Um, I think also enrolling, I had more enrollments than I did during the summer. And so um, I know I help people. I know I have the heart to helping and help people win. I know I help people win. Like I have distributors in the past who who got bonuses and bonuses. It's like I, I help people. And so that going into my opportunity, um, I need to help more people. Um, one of my distributors, one of my new distributors got her first check and that, that height, that riled me up more, I think more than green carpet. Okay. Like it riled me up, but, um, I need to help more people get those checks and get bigger checks. And so, um, knowing that that pulls on my heartstrings when people are getting those checks and stuff, it really does um, help me. So I need to continue to push myself in being uncomfortable situations so I started towards the end of the month because I was like, look, after Green Carpet, I was like, look, you need to do what you got to do. I started calling um, to set appointments with salon owners. like, And that, that felt uncomfortable. It really did. But I was like, you got to do this more. You're a professional, you know. Um, and so those are that's what I'm working on. I, I will have more enrollments. Your girl, y'all, is going to pop off. Y'all going to know. Y'all going to know. Y'all be like, what happened? And she, look, it popped off. That's so good. Um, I'm excited. I'm excited for everybody. Um, I just want to hop in really quick um, before we close um, because I also watched the same sermon Miss Johnny was talking about and it was called Small Foxes and it was like, wow, how much do we complain or murmur about our situation versus remembering who God is and what he's done, right? And like what he's capable of, like his track record is impeccable. Like he's not even, that's not even his character to bring us to something. And then to have us like, okay, we here now. All right, you're going to leave us. That's not what he's going to do. So if he's brought you to this business, you're going to be successful. You're going to succeed. You're going to see exceedingly and abundantly because that's who he is. That's the type of God that we serve. And even though it, it may not look like what we want it to look like, he's not done, right? He's not done. He's going to come through, right? His word does not return to him void. And so just be encouraged. And another thing that he said is God is, we're in a season where God is going to give us what we say. So if we say we don't have money, that's what we're going to have. If we say we're going to be ambassador diamond, guess what? That's what's go that's what's going to start to happen. If we say we're going to have 30 enrollments, that's what's going to start to happen. So speak the things that you want and you desire now, like speak it, just walk in, walk it and speak it, but also anticipate it and participate in what you're speaking. So do the work. You know what I'm saying? Like do the work. And then also me and Brittany was talking about stop being so innovative that you're not in your lane. So for me, I I thrived on host to post. And so I'm going back to that because that's my lane. Yeah, I'll do a sprinkle of reels, but host to post is my lane. So find your lane and stick with it and be success and be okay with being in that lane because it's yours. I hope that makes sense. Like be okay. Be okay with not being a TikTok phenomenon. You okay with being host of both and going live. Like that's your jam. You just stay in there. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Um, so it's gonna be good, y'all. We're gonna start a push today. I'm excited about it. It's just about to, like Cass said, it's about to pop off. And we just they're gonna be like, where did squad come from? We've been here. You know, we just we just decided that enough was enough and we just gonna come through. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm going to pray us off really quick. Um, Father God, we just thank you. 
We love you, God. We adore you. We magnify your name, God. We exalt you. God, we are appreciative of you and who you are, what you've done, what you're doing behind the scenes, God. Even though we can't see it, or even though sometimes situations get in our way, God, and try to distract and deter us, you are the great I am. You're a God that always comes through. You're Jehovah Jireh. You're our provider. You give us provision. You give us direction. You give us clarity. You give Give us focus, God. So we say thank you, God. As we go forth this week, let us go forth with tenacity and resilience and confidence and courage, God. Give us the strength to run our race. Give us the endurance, even when we get tired, God, to show up like you want us to show up, God. Give us divine um, interactions and conversations, God. God, overflow us with um with customers and distributors and all the, the secret petitions that we've prayed for that we won't speak out loud. God, you hear them. You hear them and you will meet us right there in our secret places. And God, we just thank you. We go forth with anticipation for what you're about to do. We go forth with ex expectation for, for how you're going to do it. We, it's going to be like, how did this happen? And we're just going to give you all the glory, God, because you're good. And God, we will participate in this miracle. We will participate in this elevation, in this promotion that you're about to about to do in us, God, and to elevate the money squads to, to a new level. And God, we say thank you. We say thank you in advance. We say thank you in advance, God, because you're good. In Jesus' name, amen. Y'all have a great day.